Hi, I'm Michael. I'm the customer success lead at Xano, and uh, we recently had a user write into the forum asking how they can delete multiple records that are matching uh, multiple parameters or inputs. So I thought it'd be a good time to uh, create a video and show you guys how to do that. Uh, so for this example, I created this simple workspace um, with some tables here. We have department and project. We're not using users right now, but let's look at the project table. Uh, I created just some sample data here, some fake project titles, the department that they're associated with um, or referenced to. So I have things like marketing, engineering, accounting, uh, and sales, and then their level of importance. So uh, low, medium, or high. So for this example, let's say that I want to, uh, let's delete all of the uh, projects uh, related to the marketing team that are of low importance. So let's go ahead, let's jump to uh, the API. Um, and I'm going to just create a new API endpoint here. I'm going to start from scratch. I'll just call this um, example and it's going to be a delete. So I'm going to hit save. And let's go ahead, let's define those uh, parameters that we want our records to match that are going to be deleted. So first is just going to be a table reference uh, to the department. Uh, and next is going to be, we'll just do a text field and I'll just call this uh, importance. Okay, so we'll be able to define the marketing department and the level of importance. So now, the first thing we want to do is actually go to database requests and go to query all records of the project table. Okay, and so here in our query all records where it says by custom query, we're going to um, set some filters here. So I'm going to click on this pencil and I'll do um, add a conditional where uh, the project dot department ID, so that field department ID is equal to uh, we'll say our input of the department ID. And then I'm going to actually do an AND statement here because we have multiple parameters, remember. I'll say the uh, project.importance, so the importance field of the project table, is equal to, and we'll say our input of importance. So I'll hit done there. Um, let's go ahead, let's change the name here. We'll say this is called our matching uh, project records. How about? So I'll say save. And let's go ahead, let's actually run this for now and let's just see um, if we're getting back anything. So I'll go ahead, I'll put in, I think marketing was three and we'll say importance is low. So if I run that, we'll see, okay, here we have um, three different records for department three, which was marketing, and they're all of, a part of importance of low. Uh, so next is how do we delete all those records? So whenever we have a, a list of something we actually that we want to uh, manipulate, in this case we're deleting them, we actually need to do um, a loop so we can loop through those items. So I'm going to go through data manipulation, I'm going to go to loops, and I'm going to do a for each loop to iterate over uh, a list of items, in this case being our matching project records. So here in the loop, if I just hit this drop down and I hit matching project records um, as item, I'll go ahead and just save that for now. This will allow us to just loop through all these uh, matching project records. So even if we changed um, these parameters and we had a different list, this for each loop would go through each of those items. Okay, so now in the define functions, this is where we're gonna add our delete. So within this for each loop, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit database request and then delete record. And it's gonna, we're deleting the projects. So here in the field value, I'm just gonna go ahead and select that item variable, which is the looped variable. And it's gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and do just dot ID. So that's gonna loop through um, all those IDs and delete all of them, delete all those records. So now um, we actually don't even need a response anymore. But now if I go ahead and I run this and I will say department three in low, um, we can see it was a success, that everything ran successfully. And if we go to our database and go to our projects, um, we'll see our, our records went from, um, we had, I believe, 12 total before. It looks like we have nine, three through 12. And we'll see there's only one marketing um, project left and it's of importance high. So we can see um, all those other marketing ones got deleted. 